Today's topic is pipelining. Why do we need pipelining in processor? Because with pipelining, you can execute multiple instructions in parallel. In pipelining, the main attempt is to use every part of processor because you are executing every instruction in parallel and every instruction is in different stage of pipelining. In pipelining, we divide our instruction into series of sequential steps, which we call as pipelining stage. Different sequential steps or different stages in pipelining will be performed by different parts of processor so that you can fully utilize different parts of processor and you can execute multiple instructions in parallel. What is the advantage of pipelining? Now, since multiple instructions are executing in parallel, that is why total number of instructions per cycle will increase compared to the processor which does not have pipelining. You will have more instructions completed per cycle in case of processor which has pipelining. That I call it as throughput. Throughput means number of instructions executed per cycle which is going to increase due to pipelining. What is disadvantage of pipelining? You are introducing stages in pipelining which means you are complicating your design. When your design is complicated, it the instruction, one particular instruction will have to go through that complex stages. In case of processor which does not have pipelining, there are no such complex stages. That is why the time required for execution of one instruction is less in case of processor which won't have pipelining. But in case of processor which has pipelining, the number the total time which is required to execute your instruction will increase because of the complexity of the pipelining stages. That is called as latency. Latency is the time which is required for your instruction to complete, which is delay from when your instruction has started to when your instruction has completed. How much delay did it take is called as latency. Now let us understand what are different stages in pipelining and what happens in each stage. The first stage is instruction patch. In instruction patch, you are patching the next instruction from your instruction buffer, which means you are reading the next instruction from your buffer. In instruction decode, you need to understand what that instruction is. You need to decode the instruction. For example, instruction is add. So you need to understand that it is add. Then to perform that add operation, you need two operands, say for example. So you need to get the address of two operands so that you can patch those operands to perform your operation. Say you have an operation where you are saying that a particular register, say R3 is your register, is equal to R1 plus R2. Okay, so the operation is that you went into the instruction fetch sta stage, you fetched the instruction. In decode stage, you understood that the instruction is add. Now to perform this add operation, you need two operands, which is R1 and R2. You need to get the address of those operands so that you will go and fetch the op operands. This process of decoding the instruction, getting the address of operands and fetching the operands happens in instruction decode. What happens in execute? In execute, we are performing the actual operation. What was the actual operation? Add. So I wanted to add the values of R1 and R2. In this execute stage, I am going to perform that operation. What is 
memory access in memory access say you want access to a particular memory uh, like you you have some operands that need access to memory the access can be read or write those kind of operations are performed in memory access stage what is write back now i have performed the operation i need to write back the result i have performed the addition operation but finally i need to write the result i need to store the result somewhere in write back stage we are going to store the result write the result to a particular register or memory wherever you want to write as per your instruction you will perform that operation in the write back stage a quick overview in instruction fetch we will fetch the instruction from the instruction buffer in instruction decode we will decode the instruction get address of operands fetch the operands in execute we will perform the operation in memory we will access the memory it can be read access or write access in write back we will write the value of the result let us understand the basic five stage pipelining which is common in basic risk processors now i have five instructions instruction number 1 2 3 4 5 <laughs> and there are execution cycles cycle 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 in the first cycle i am fetching the first instruction instruction fetch okay since this is the first instruction the other stages of the pipelining don't have anything yet because this was the first instruction in the second cycle your first instruction which was fetched that will go into instruction decode stage and in the same time you will fetch the second instruction from the instruction buffer so in your second clock cycle there are two operations being performed in parallel one is instruction fetch for the second instruction second is instruction decode for the first instruction going to the third cycle your first instruction is now in execute stage your second instruction will be in instruction decode and third instruction is being fetched from the memory buffer so your three different operations are being performed on three different instructions in parallel similarly if you see in cycle 4 first instruction is in your memory stage your second instruction has reached execute your third instruction is in instruction decode and this time you are fetching the fourth instruction so four operations in parallel finally in the fifth cycle i am fully utilizing my pipelining stage there is five stage pipelining and finally i have five instructions in the pipeline the fifth instruction is being fetched from the memory the fourth instruction is in decode stage third instruction is in execute second is in memory and first is in write back this is how in your fifth cycle your pipelining is been fully utilized and the first instruction is fully completed in the fifth cycle if you see in the sixth cycle your second instruction has reached write back which means your second instruction is fully completed in sixth cycle your third instruction reaches write back in seventh cycle which means your third instruction is completed in seventh cycle and so on this is how the five stage pipelining works and this is how the movement of instructions happens in the pipeline to stay tuned to such content please subscribe to sweety speaks official youtube channel thank you